Hey YouTube, this is Sandeep and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an ordinary beer bottle look pretty cool. The only reason I'm recording this outside is because this is the perfect light I can find. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm outside and it's amazing here today. I did a good amount of research before I decided to make this video and everywhere people were photographing these dark beer bottles and nobody was showing any loves to the light beers. So today I wanted to give a light beer bottle a shot as well and see uh, how good we can make it look. But just as a backup, uh, I also have a dark beer bottle. So let's look at the behind the scene and how my setup looks like. I'm using two different flash. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through what each flash uh, does as well. I'm using 5D Mark IV and 70 to 200 f2.8. I'm shooting the Michelob Ultra Gold Bottle. Uh, I think the results are much above my expectations. Uh, I thought people weren't shooting these uh, light beers because of the reflections. Uh, but I'm very happy with the results. And now let's move on to the other local beer that I got or picked up. I'm using this flash to light up the front of the bottle so we can read the label. The umbrella is just a knockoff brand from Amazon, same with the stand. And to get the glow in the bottle, I'm using Godox V1C for the cannon mount. On that flash, I have a grid mounted and the flash curtains to control the light from spilling over or around the bottle. Uh, it's been working out pretty well for the last shot, so it should be the same. For the background, I'm using the black pop-up backdrop. So the other reason to paint the beer bottle with the matte finish or flat finish is uh, you have to get rid of that ugly glare from the flash on the bottle and its neck. So yeah, it's like fighting or uh, killing two birds with one arrow. So. The reason for using the uh, reflective dish here is uh, it, uh, it provides another source of light and I kind of want the, the bottle lid to be lit up a little bit as well. So I'm using it as another source pointing downward on top of the bottle. I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm also trying uh, a different angle for the this bottle because I noticed in the last one uh, I was getting blown out highlight very slightly on this side so I decided to go lower and shoot upward a little bit I like this angle a lot uh, because 
it provides that majestic look to the bottle and it gets rid of that highlight and also those uh, instead of ice this time i just decided to use water droplets at the bottom as well kind of like that idea as well because it catches the light better and reflects the light better uh, instead of ice at least i think so i think we have more than enough photos but i just feel dirty right now worked around the house so let's go take a shower i'm gonna go take a shower and then we jump into the editing part of this uh, photo shoot all right i'll be right back without further ado let's start uh editing the photos we've gotten so far or at least look at them how do you guys do it i, I usually just uh create a new catalog uh, for every project um do you guys recommend any other way to save the space i guess or time uh, comment below really appreciate it i may have overdone I think 214 photos for two beer bottles. That is insane. That is insane. But let's import. It's gonna take a while. Beer sipping until it does. All right, photos have been imported. Let us see what we have so far. All right, so this uh, first, I, I, I wanted to show you guys uh, the difference between using a flash and not using a flash. So the most important part about uh, shooting these kind of uh, beverages, I guess, or bottles, is to get that uh, internal glow out of it. And for that, you truly need the flash in the back otherwise it's it's very flat as you can see yeah i can increase the exposure let's see right there but it's still it's still nothing uh fancy or nothing worth bragging about i guess This is what you get after you uh, clear coat it with flat clear coat. So yeah, I think here, this is, uh, we're getting into the good stuff here now. Uh, we have that ice at the bottom. The bottle is coated with the flat clear coating. The back flash is not leaking around the bottle. You can see the sharp edges. Everything is in focus. However, we're still missing that one uh, secret weapon. Let's see. There it is. Mixture of water and glycerin. Let's see if uh, uh, healing works. I, I I don't like this blown out. It's not blown out, but I don't like this. Uh, see the white strip there. I want it to be dark. It's good for me. Perfect. I like it as it is. It should uh, make it pop a little bit better, the sticker. And I think it's gonna help the overall image. Boom! Right? So. I am uh, not the best at Photoshop, but I tried something. 
I'm not sure if I like this edit, but I don't also hate it. Maybe that's why if I had a better mask, I think it would look better. Let's look at the second beer. Let's look at how that picture came out. So even, even for the second bottle, you guys can see how this is, this is bottle non-treated, meaning that I didn't do anything this through bottle. This is, this is how it came out uh, from the store. But you guys can see how the flash is too harsh. You can literally see the flash here, uh, which is not good. Uh, but as soon as you put that flake clear coating on, bam, look at the difference, right? It's freaking amazing. So yeah, that's probably the number one thing you should do if you're trying to capture beer bottle photos. Yeah, I tried, I tried uh, playing with the flash a little bit more here with this bottle because it was darker. I could, I had more freedom with the highlights. Uh, yeah, I like this look. I like this look a lot. So guys, thank you for watching again. Uh, here, I'm gonna leave the final four images or final three images that I really like, final three photos, I should say. If I have some beer after all this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking, commenting if you are. Thank you for your support.